What's up everybody? So today we're checking out Loot Cloud 4.0. Crab Tendo. Which has some new dope features that I wanna check out, especially the destructive editing within the cloud. So you can do some cool stuff as far as editing and taking stuff out of loops and whatever you want and then you can drag the process version into your DAW after you are done. Just in case I missed any of the new features, there will be a link in the description box to an overview video, or you can check out this card at the top right of the screen, and it will help you out with any other questions. Just in case, you can ask me any questions, and I'll do my best to answer them in the comment section. So I do appreciate you guys, so let's check that out. So the link in the description box will take you to Loot Cloud right here. And this is how it looks like. And it's for both Windows and Mac. So everybody gets to celebrate and have fun at the same time. And all you have to do is just install it. And there you go. And there are some other cool things that you can do with Loot Cloud. So don't worry about not having anything from Loot Master. So here we are in the DAW of choice right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Loot Cloud plugin. And what that's going to do is sync my Loot Cloud to my DAW. So what I can do here is I can search for samples in many different ways here. I can, you know, just go through some of the, the stuff I have already. And, you know, I can just browse some stuff. Maybe like I can browse some bases and check that out. So with that, I can, and if you don't, haven't noticed, it is synced to my DAW, but if it's not synced to your DAW natively, you can hit this little arrow right over here and then you can choose to connect to your DAW so it can be connected to your BPM. So I, I'm already good and synced together so I can adjust like the start and end point of things. Then I can, you know, if I don't want to do that, like if I don't want loops, I can go to this search area right here and just hit like one shots and it's going to pull up just the one shot 808s. Maybe I want to go a little slower with this and I'm going to go ahead and adjust the tempo. I'm going to go down back down to 95 here and it's going to do its thing. So. What I did here is I went to the download the file here. I'm going to go ahead and get the process version of it. I'm going to go ahead and drop it in one of my audio tracks. Maybe I want to try and get a melody or so. I want to go ahead and get a melody in here. Uh, you know, you can go ahead into whatever folder that you like, that you have. I'm going to go and just select the synth here. So this is going to go for one shot synth loop. All right, so I have a sample here that I picked out and it sounds like this. So it's a little long and there's some things I want to change about it. So I just want to go ahead and do a cut. Uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to cut the, the end piece off here. And I'm going to, before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and change the grid. You can either go auto grid, which is, is going to automatically make your grid for you. And I'm going to go ahead and adjust it there. Now I'm going to cut the end off so I can uh, do some further adjustments to it. And that's when I'm going to go over here, highlight this. You can hit backspace to delete and you know, I'm going to go ahead and do another adjustment here. Go ahead and grab uh, this end piece. So it will loop, have a perfect loop here. I'm going to go ahead and play the loop, see if it loops perfectly. So it seems good to me. So I'm going to go ahead and go to download. It's downloading in the background. It's gonna ask me if I wanna use the process version. I'm gonna go ahead and drag that into another audio track. And I can preview what I got so far in the song and see if it's all right or not. So now that we have that, I'm gonna go ahead and add another audio track. And I'm gonna go back into my loop cloud. And from here, I'm going to check out something else. So I'm gonna go ahead and mess with uh, one of the tags here. I'm gonna press C, see if I can pull up anything that is C and C. So I have nothing but MIDI. Oh, well, I have something here. Let's hear that. Uh, nope. 
So let's try that out here. I'm going to go ahead and download the file. Or process. So it'll be in the, the proper BPM. And let's activate it. Turn it down a little bit. Last but not least, you can uh, link other libraries to it. So I'm going to go and see uh, what I can do here. I'm going to go and explore my drives. And as you see, now you have like your own library of stuff that you can mess with in here and see if you can feng shui with that. So I found one of my sample packs that I haven't released and now I just kind of want to slow stuff down. So I'm going to go in over here to BPM. I selected divide by two. So let's go ahead and hear that with divide by two. So uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to rinse and repeat a process here. I'm going to go ahead and instead of uh, doing auto grid, I'm going to go one sixteenths. Boom. One sixteenths here. Now I'm going to select like up to here. The four bars here and we're going to work with that. And I'm going to delete uh, the other part that I don't want because it is a pretty long loop. And I am going to hit backspace to delete it out of here. And then I'm also going to adjust. From here, I'm going to go ahead and press and use the process version of that. So I'm going to drag and drop my original file that I already made myself. Just to prove that you know loop cloud can do a little bit more than just you know its own samples from their own libraries and of course you can finish out the tractor wherever you however you like i might just go ahead and just grab some drums because i want to put a kick in there somewhere right <laughs> So tell me how you feel about Loop Cloud 4.0. Would you check it out? It's a pretty decent sample manager and you can also add some of your own samples just in case you don't want to mess with any of the Loop Master stuff. But at the same time, you should check out some of the stuff at Loop Masters. Again, the link will be in the description box if you want to download it for free and check it out for yourself. You do get an additional 400 points for signing up. So do that, check it out and let me know how you feel about it.